In this video, we're going to talk about how to monitor your cat's respiration or breathing rate at home and why that is so important. I'm also going to tell you about the major pitfall to avoid when doing this at home. Monitoring your cat's respiration rate is a great habit to get into if you are worried that your cat may have heart disease. And it really is essential to do if you have a cat who is in heart failure and is on medication to manage the fluid in their chest. If you would like more information on heart disease or heart failure in cats, you can watch the video that I've made about this on my website, allcats.co.uk. By catching any changes early, you may help to avoid a crisis for your cat. Because when there is only a small amount of fluid in the chest, your cat can still cope. All that happens is that the respiration rate increases a little. But as more fluid builds up in your cat's chest, they can no longer cope and they go into respiratory distress. When this happens, they are clearly distressed. They're often gasping for air and they're using all of their effort to breathe. It is very distressing for you and your cat. It often looks like this has happened suddenly, but it has usually been a gradual process that your cat has been hiding until it gets to a point where they can no longer hide it. If your cat is in respiratory distress, they are in a really vulnerable position and many cats will die when we try to stabilize them at the vet. Some cats even die on the way to the vet. And clearly we want to avoid this and monitoring respiratory rate at home can help you catch a change early before your cat reaches respiratory distress. Monitoring your cat's resting respiration rate involves you counting your cat's breathing when they are asleep. One breath counts as both inhalation and exhalation of air. So you will see your cat's chest both rise and fall. A rise and fall together is counted as one breath or one respiration. When you are counting, it is very important to make sure that you are counting in and out as one, not as two. You want to measure your cat's breathing over a period of one minute. So you can watch your cat for one minute and count each breath, or you can do it in 30 seconds and then multiply by two to get a rate for a minute. And I recommend that you use the timer to make sure that you are counting for the correct amount of time. The other very important thing to keep in mind is when you do this. Your cat is going to have a much higher breathing rate when they are awake compared to when they are sleeping. Most cats who are at rest are not sleeping and their breathing rate will be higher during these times. To get a true resting respiratory rate, you want to make sure that your cat is as relaxed as possible and ideally is sleeping. Your cat should take 20 to 30 breaths per minute when they are asleep. If your cat is awake, you may get a much higher number, which can be normal, but 20 to 30 breaths is the magic number. And if you are getting this number when your cat is asleep, it means that their condition is stable and that they are on the correct dose of medication and there is unlikely to be any fluid buildup in their chest. If you have a cat in heart failure who is on medication, I recommend that you do this once or twice a week. And if you are just worried that your cat may have a heart condition but has not yet been diagnosed, you could do it once a month just to keep an eye on them. The biggest pitfall that people fall into is picking the wrong time to count. Then they get a number that is higher than expected, which causes them to worry. When in fact your cat was just watching a bird or thinking about all of the complex things that cats need to think about. The best way to become confident about counting your cat's resting respiratory rate at home is to keep practicing and be consistent and really think about what your cat is doing and if there could be another reason that you are getting a much higher number than you expected. If you are doing this at home with your cat, it is important to keep a record and to inform your vet if your cat's resting respiratory rate consistently goes over 30 breaths per minute when they are sleeping. In this case, your cat may need more medication to control the fluid buildup in their chest. I have more resources on my website, allcats.co.uk, and if you have topics that you would like to see a video on, please let me know, and I will be happy to make one for you. See you in the next video.